Hi guys, welcome to the millionth take of this stupid tutorial. <laughs> we will go through some basic steps to show you how to improve your audio quality as well as show you how to export your tracks efficiently. The first thing you're going to have to make sure is that you have selected the right microphone and that it's set to mono input unless you know that your microphone is a stereo microphone. Any laptop or headset or regular microphone will be mono. Mono just means it's one channel, not two channels. The second thing to do is to record silence. We need to record silence, or as close to silent as possible, in order to create an accurate noise profile. So what you do is you click record, and just shut up for a few seconds. Now that we've recorded some silence, we can select a part using this tool and then listen to it. If it's just noise that you hear, then it's good enough. If you hear small little sounds that maybe got picked up that you didn't realize you were making or didn't realize were in the background, then you want to try and select a different part. For example, this part here. would not be good enough for a noise profile because it contains uh, more than just noise, it's contaminated. Select a section that is just pure noise from your microphone. Once that is done, you click Effect up in the toolbar here, go down to Noise Removal and click Get Noise Profile. Once that is done, you can select your whole track, effect, noise removal again. It doesn't matter too much how this is set up. When you get this, the default setup should be more than enough. And it should be on remove noise. And you've already gotten the noise profile, so you do not need to mess with this again. You just click OK. What we did is the bit we selected acted as a reference to the noise removal application and we were basically telling it that that is noise and so it goes through the ch uh, track and checks for more of the same and then removes it so if you were to select this you would tell it that that is also noise and then it would remove that and sometimes that can remove frequencies which you would rather keep in um, you can get artifacting in your voice if you remove certain frequencies and so it makes it sound very really bad basically so let's listen through and just shut up for a few seconds there will be some noise from the recording that I am what I'm speaking right now but I can hear in my headphones that this is dead silent before I speak and after I speak there's no noise there at all so this has been a successful noise removal uh, so, with that done, you just get some lines to record. So let's say I, I was recording for a character, and I've been practicing, and I'm ready to record. I will record right now. So for example, there's a greetings, so I say, Hello there, Outlander, or something stupid. And then I record another line, blah 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 blah. I wait a little bit record another line. Blah 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 blah. So now we've recorded three different lines. Now the first thing to do to this track is effect, go down to noise removal again and click OK. Listen back. Hello there, Outlander. Or something stupid. Yeah, something stupid. You can hear that the noise is gone. The next thing to do is to select your track and go down here in the effects menu and click normalize. Normalize will use the loudest part of your recording as reference to how loud the rest should be. And so it 
makes everything louder to the point where the loudest part is at whatever you set it to. So by default, it's minus one dB and that is perfectly fine. So I recommend you don't change it. If you, at the end of your recording, put your microphone down if you were holding it and it creates a big bump and a spike in the audio, I recommend you highlight it and delete it. So that does not uh, affect the normalization of your track. The next thing you want to do for most people, it's just a very simple way to help improve the quality and even out the volumes throughout your uh, recording is to compress it. Again, to not make things too complicated, just make sure it says compressed based on peaks and make up for gain for zero uh, dB after compressing and click OK. You don't need to worry about all this. It won't be perfect, but it'd be basic and something that everyone can do. And so you can see now most things got much louder. Now what th that uh, what that did is make everything louder to zero dB, but it it made the quieter parts much louder in comparison to how much louder it made the louder parts from before. So now everything has a more even volume. And then you go back here and click normalize again. Let's listen back. So for example, there's a greetings. So I say, hello there, Outlander. It's pretty good. Good volume, decent sound. Now, there are a lot of things here that we don't want. For example, so for example, for example, that is not part of our recording. There's a greetings. So I say, that is not part of our recording. Hello there. So we want to cut off everything before the main recording. Hello there, Outlander. Hello. Or something stupid. All right. So we want to cut it there. You just basically click along the timeline so that it highlights one part, but it doesn't select a part. It just highlights a mark in the track. And once that's uh, marked, you can click uh, or push control I and it will create a divide in the track. So it's split here. And then you can do the same for the next part. So and then I record another line, blah, blah. You can select there, control I. And then this part, you could just delete. And that's fine. Another way of doing it, as we'll demonstrate later here, I wait a little bit. If I select this section and I click Control I, it will cut off both ends. And so that's a quicker way of doing it if you prefer doing it that way. And again, we can delete. Now, some recordings will have pauses in them. Hello there, Outlander, or something stupid. Let's listen to this pause. That's unwanted sounds and unnecessary. So we want to get rid of this. Instead of Control I, we do Alt I. That'll put it on a separate track. We'll do that with this pause as well, if we can get a better selection of it. And the line, blah, 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 blah. We can do it here as well. You can do it with any major pause. And then just delete these tracks and they're gone. <clears throat> now, for every single line, you want to connect them up again. Just because if you want to edit it later, these things hang, to, uh, hang together. If you come back to this uh, Audacity file and you're looking at it and everything's split up, it, uh, well, at least I personally think it's more confusing. So now I know this is one line, I know this is one line, and I know, wait, or another line that is not supposed to be there, but I, uh, and I know this is one line. Now, now that we've edit them, uh, edited them, we've cut them up, we want to export them. So what you want to do 
is select a place in the timeline. So for the first line, we're going to select right at the beginning. Click Tracks in the toolbar. Go down to Add Label at Selection. And you can see it adds this little thing where you can just type whatever you want. So we're going to type Q test 1. We're then going to select, um, we're going to move, the, we're going to separate them slightly so it's easier to navigate and see where the splits are. We're going to select here right where it starts, tracks, add label at selection, Q, test, two, and the third one. You can see it says control B. So if you have selected the area, you can go control B and it gives you it automatically. And we'll put in Q test 3. Now that we have these, we are ready to export. Whatever, whatever the files need to be named, you can either ask me in the future or Smite Hammer on the forum what the files need to be named or find out where to find the appropriate names for the final files. If you are doing an audition, you do not need to worry about what they're called other than maybe Khajiit Audition or Nord Audition. Or if you are auditioning for a specific character, uh, I don't know, Snorri Audition. He's a Nord blacksmith. Um, so they don't, you don't need to worry about that. But uh, the, uh, with the final pieces, you do need to worry about what the individual parts are called. So these are three different lines on the same track, and we've marked them up uh, using labels. And so we click File, Export Multiple, not Export Labels, Export Multiple, and choose the format that you want to upload in. If you're uploading a, uh, if you're uploading an audition or whatever, it might as well just be MP3. Right at this moment, it is not decided what format it is for the uh, uh, final game. But I imagine MP3 will be fine and we can convert it afterwards anyway. But if you're unsure, ask for direction. To export an MP3 using Audacity, you need to download the lame MP3 uh, encoder. There will be a link to that in the description. Right, so once you've selected that and your export location, split files based on labels and name files using label track name. So it's going to use these names for each file. Export, just click OK for all these, and OK. And that's exported. And here they are. Qtest1, Qtest2, Qtest3. Hello there, Outlander, or something stupid. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Beautiful. And now you have three files that are nicely organized. You can put them in a folder if you want and organize them however you want in the, on the computer. But that just means you don't have to export every single line separately or name them individually for every track and it'd be a mess. This is the easiest way to do it. So uh, good luck. And I look forward to hearing your additions and, of course, the final versions if you do get, uh, uh, if you do get um, the roles that you want to get. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched this and to everyone who's thinking of auditioning and uh, being a part of this project because we really appreciate your help in, well, really being together in helping to achieve this dream of a project so get out there to do the best job you can and if you have any questions you can find either me Langottrail or Smite Hammer on the forums thank you very much